Hey, welcome to Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me in studio is uh, Grant Pichet. He's with Restaurants Against Hunger. Welcome to the show, Grant. Thank you very much. Uh, and Thank also you. joining us is Bobby Williams. He's a pastor at Freedom Church. Welcome to the show. First time, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. I want to talk about something you guys got going on, and Grant, what's it, like eighth, tenth year that we've done this? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's been a while. It's gotten so well that you could probably come over here and I do think this I had job. I comb over the last time <laughs> when we first started this. <laughs> Did you just say comb over? <laughs> <laughs> for those, <laughs> for those who might not know, <laughs> what exactly uh, is Restaurants Against uh, Hunger? <laughs> Restaurants Against Hunger. Well, we've been at this thing got a, uh, a long time, and basically, we support those people on the front lines of hunger. The, you know, food banks. Uh, uh, we, we provide sandwiches for some folks outside of our catering business, a catering oasis. Something that's kind of ongoing, but mostly we support those on the front lines of hunger, especially what this guy does. So, Bobby, talk to me a little bit about the uh, the Freedom Church. How did you get involved, and how did you meet this guy? Actually, we got two organizations. A lot of people know us by the Freedom Church, but we got an organization I originally started called the Freedom Tour, and it's about food and disaster relief and reaching people, hungry people, that kind of stuff, and just being in the same realm of just wanting to be a blessing and help people that we just come in contact with each other, then actually he helps me, I help him, and it works out great. And coming up during Thanksgiving, you guys have a great partnership with, with Brian, with the Brooks Law Group. Talk to me a little bit about that. How, how did that come about, and where did it start, and where are we now? I think we're about four or five years in with uh, partnering with Brooks Law Group. They provide turkeys for uh, those in need uh, November 19th this year. Um, and then we, I got with them and said, let us bring the rest of the meal. And so we partnered up with uh, Farmer Jack and uh, Brian over at Farmer Jack's been with us ever since. He's been a real strong partner at Restaurants Against Hunger. He supports uh, Bobby's group by sending truckloads of uh, produce out to them. And uh, so we got involved with that. And so now, now that Bobby's gotten on, bo on board, really my deal is to set up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich station, <laughs> get some volunteers out there and start organizing, getting this stuff wrapped up so they can, everybody can kind of get through the line fairly quickly. So Bobby, when it comes to this, talk to me a little bit about what it takes to, from your guys end, to, to put on an event like this, to, to participate in this. Yeah, we, uh, we've been blessed, really. We do about 10 to, two to 10 food drives a week. So, and actually with COVID, COVID really put us in a position um, food wise, financial wise, and the ability to work things out. So for us, you know, we, we provide 26 foot box trucks, refrigerated box trucks. Um, then we have throughout the year, throughout the week, we're actually sending our semis out to, whether it's Aldi's or um, Publix's or whomever, bigger national retailers mm -hmm. or even Farmer Jack's. We yeah. send trucks, he calls me, they have stuff close to date or out there to date or, you know, it's, it's um, so or stuff they just want to give. So we send trucks, drivers to these places, pick it up, bring it back, sort it, you know, find out what's good, what's bad, but also what's going to meet his needs. Mm -hmm. So then we kind of get that ready day before or whatever, then <clears throat> send a box truck to him when he's ready for it. Grant, November 19th is the day for this year. Walk me through the day's events and then we'll cover there's two aspects of it. Those, there's those that can volunteer to help those in need, and then of course there's those in need. So let's run through what the day's events are for say the volunteers, and then ultimately what it takes to help those and how those that need the help can get involved. We asked the volunteers to come about eight o'clock in the morning on that Saturday, the 19th. And we get involved by, because Brian will drop off um, just uh, pallets of produce in large bags, uh, carrots, potatoes, that sort of thing. So we break them down into smaller bags to kind of help uh, some folks that to go with their meals. So they're not getting, they're getting that produce broken down for mm -hmm. them so they can walk off with it. And then, uh, so that takes you up. They, they start giving them away around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. And it runs till about noon. Uh, Bobby gets a truck there bright and early. Nobody works harder than this guy and getting stuff out. I think you got the uh, Polk Sheriff department as, as well on that day. What do you, wow. you got on that day? We got a bunch. So actually we do a big turkey drive with Grady Joe. We actually do all three of his. Yeah. So yeah. help him with that kind of so stuff. So he's getting that going. We just, a lot of people pulling together. Um, Where does Industries. all this go on? 
goes right at Brooks Law Group, okay. right there in Winter Haven. Yep. And I think he has one uh, in Tampa as well, but yeah. th this one's his main baby. And uh, we get that thing kicked off. And then when they come through the line, they get their turkey, they get their bags and stuff. We got volunteers that hand them out. We got volunteers that walk some of the elderly folks to their cars. And then at the end, we got water, a sandwich for them and chips. Cause they do, they'll sit in line. Uh, we've been there. I've walked my dog past there at four in the morning and there's people waiting in line for a 12 pound turkey. And with the price of turkeys the way it is today, I anticipate a pretty busy yeah. Saturday. Now, Bobby, uh, as Grant, I love to when, when Grant says on the front lines, you, you guys are on the front lines for those that need it the most. What have you seen over the last few years? Um, you know, not only because of COVID, but financially where we're at, things going on. What are you seeing that 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 there's a need for this? Well, you're seeing one despair. Um, two, you are seeing growth, unfortunately, in that aspect. Um, the biggest thing I seen was used to the poverty of the poverty would be the ones people who would stand in line and and I guess I wouldn't I mean an easy way to say that maybe they've been there they've not that they've lost shame or guilt but mm -hmm. hey I need it I don't care what anybody thinks yeah. I'm going to go do it with COVID with everything shut down and that kind of stuff it kind of brought the middle class um, and and with what COVID did it kind of um, went from walking up, which his event does, to really drive-throughs. So with drive through people stay in their car. They almost felt like going through McDonald's, yeah. this kind of stuff, whatever. Actually, we were doing, when we done Grady Judd's turkey deal, he wanted to do a media thing, and he come out to our church there in Elwes and done, and <clears throat> we shot a little video clip for promotion, that kind of stuff, and actually a brand new Denali come driving through. And Grady's like, how do you deal with that? I said, I don't, God does. I said, but you know, American culture, we'll spend more on a car than we do our house. We'll yeah. sleep in a motel, yeah. you know, and do that kind of stuff. So I said, it's not between me and them, between me and God. But I said, we have a brand new Escalade come through here. So you're very kidding me. It's no brand new Escalade come through a couple minutes later. So what we've seen is growth because people feel you know, shame and guilt's kind of gone, yeah. even the middle class. So it's, you there's see- There's a need. There's a need. Our biggest thing is financial. And I know everybody says that, but for me, we actually have access to food and it's all across the country. Um, we do have, we're blessed with people like Farmer Jack's that's local, but there's, I actually broker trucks out of Tennessee, Indiana, Ohio. It costs thousands and thousands oh. of dollars. And plus we run our semis throughout the state and throughout the Southeast to do this kind of stuff. So for me, it ain't much as I can get the food. Yeah. It's just the financial stuff. To and how can folks find more information about you? Um, www.thefreedomtour.org. Okay. And Grant, you have the last word. Inspire those to get involved, to, to become a part of this. Is the homeless population getting worse, staying the same, getting better? And I just see a steady flow. It's, it doesn't change. You know, it may rise a little bit. The other morning I'm walking uh, my dog and there's, it was cold and I'm catching dudes sleeping in boxes and stuff on the ground. But it's not just the homeless. It's people may have homes and they're in need. So you want to get involved. You, obviously, the financial part is a big part of that. We need it. We support Bobby. We cut checks to Bobby when he comes out and brings that, that food to us. But they can get involved by volunteering. Bobby's got a lot of volunteering work over at uh, over his place. He's in the old Sears building at the mall okay. in, in, in Lake Wales. Took up the whole place. He needs volunteers. We need volunteers. Two great causes. Nobody cuts a promo like Grant Piché. <laughs> <laughs> One tick Piché, as we One say, tick right? Piché, Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, and, and thank you for coming in, and I look forward to working with you both in the future. Hey, yes, we sir. couldn't do it. Brian, I really appreciate you giving us this platform, especially to introduce this guy. Restaurants Against Hunger, sole purpose is to support nonprofit, not for profit, and foundations whose mission is to eliminate hunger and poverty for at-risk and the needy population in our communities in Polk County. Now, if you need more information on the food drive, look them up on the web at www.cateringoasis.com forward slash R-A-H.